Hello, I'm Furry Girl 49 and this is my Let's Play of Corruption of Champions. You grew up in the small village of Ingnam, a remote village with rich traditions, buried deep in the wilds. Every year for as long as you can remember, your village has chosen a champion to send to the curse of Demon Elm. Legend has it that in years Ingnam has failed to produce a champion, chaos has reigned over the countryside. Children disappeared, crops wilt, and disease spread like wildfire. This year, you have been selected to be the champion. What is your name? Furry Girl 49. Are you a man or a woman? You are a woman. Your upbringing has provided you an advantage in speed and in bullet. What type of build do you have? Tomboyish. What is your complexion? You selected the light complexion. What color is your hair? You have shoulder length, black hair. Dot. Every person is born with a gift. What's yours? Are your breasts bigger than average? DD cups larger breasts will allow you to lactate greater amounts, to fight larger cops, and generally be a sexy bitch. Yes. Before you became a champion, you had other plans for your life. What were you doing before? You managed to find work as a horn. Because of your time spent trading seduction for profit, you're more effective at teasing plus 15% tease damage. Is this your history? Yes. You are prepared for what is to come. Most of the last year has been spent honing your body and mind to prepare for the challenges ahead. You are the champion of Ingnam. The one who will journey to the demon realm and guarantee the safety of your friends and family, even though you'll never see them again. You walk away a tear as you enter the courtyard and see Elder no more waiting for you. You are ready. The walk to the tainted cave is long and silent. Elder no more does not speak. There is nothing left to say. The two of you journey in companionable silence. Slowly the black rock of Mount Ilgias looms closer and closer, and the temperature of the air drops. You shiver and glance at the elder, noticing he doesn't betray any sign of the cold. Despite his age of nearly 80, he maintains the vigor of a man half his age. You're glad for his strength, as assisting him across this distance would be draining, and you must save your energy for the trials ahead. The entrance of the cave gapes open. Sharp stalactites hanging over the entrance, giving it the appearance of a monstrous mouth. Elder No More stops and nods to you, gesturing for you to proceed alone. The cave is unusually warm and damp, and your body seems to feel the same way, flushing as you feel the warmth and dampness between your thighs. You were warned of this and press forward, ignoring your buddy's growing needs. The glowing purple-pink portal swirls and flares with demonic light along the back wall. Crunching. You press forward, keenly aware that your body seems to be anticipating coming in contact with the tainted magical construct. Closing your eyes, you gather your resolve and leap forwards. Vertigo overwhelms you and you black out. You wait with a splitting headache and a body full of burning desire. The shadow darkens your view momentarily and your training kicks in. You roll to the side across the bare ground and leap to your feet. A surprised looking them stands a few feet away, holding an empty dial. He's completely naked, an improbably sized pulsing red cop hanging between his spindly legs. You flush with desire as a wave of lust washes over you, your mind reeling as you fight the urge to chase down his rod and impale yourself on it. The imp says, I'm amazed you aren't already chasing down my cop, human. The last champion was an eager whore for me by the time she woke up. This lust draft made sure of it. The imp shakes the empty dial to emphasize his point. You reel in shock at this revelation. You've just entered the demon realm and you've already been drugged. You tremble with the aching need in your groin, but resist, righteous anger lending you strength. In desperation you leap towards the imp, watching with glee as his cocky smile changes to an expression of sheer terror. The smaller creature is no match for your brute strength as you pummel him mercilessly. You pick up the diminutive demon and punt him into the air, frowning grimly as he spreads his wings and begins speeding into the distance. The imp says, Fool! You could have had pleasure of ending. But should we ever cross paths again you will regret humiliating me. Remember the name Zaytas, as you'll soon face the wrath of my master. Your pleasure at defeating the demon ebbs as you consider how you've already been defiled. You swear to yourself you will find the demon responsible for doing this to you and the other champions, and destroy him and his pet imp. You look around, surveying the hellish landscape as you plot your next move. 
The portal is a few yards away, nestled between the formation of rocks. It does not seem to exude the arousing influence it had on the other side. The ground and sky are both tinted with different shades of red, though the earth beneath your feet feels as normal as any other lifeless patch of dirt. You settle on the idea of making a camp here and fortifying this side of the portal. No demons will ravage your beloved hometown on your watch. It does not take long to set up your tent and a few simple traps. You'll need to explore and gather more supplies to fortify it any further. Perhaps you will even manage to track down the demons who have been abducting the other champions. 